happy day students welcome to sam academy palikarne class 8 science chapter light part 5 so in this video let us discuss about a few defects in eye press biopia which is called solidification of lens fluid cataract it is caused by protein structures of lens club together which almost makes a foggy appearance in in the vision glaucoma which is uh it causes an abnormal pressure inside the eye it can also be called as eye pressure myopia it is caused due to a strong refractive index of eye and hyperopia due to weak refractive index of eye so please make a note that myopia and hyperopia are the opposite of each other and astigmatism is a non uniform curvature of the cornea is the cause for astigmatism and now how to take care of the eyes so one should go for a regular eye checkup and you should wear spectacles if the eyesight is found weak and always study or watch tv in a sufficient light and excess or insufficient light both can lead to problems insufficient light can cause strains and lead to headache and do not look at the sharp source of light like the sun directly as well as excess light can damage the eyes and if dust enters into eye make sure that you are not rubbing them again and again rather wash them straight away and always maintain a normal distance while reading or watching tv and the most important is take a balanced diet to ensure that you get the right nutrients and now one of the most important if uh, what to say defects uh, which is related to eyes are night blindness and night blindness is also called as nyctalophia and it is a defect in the vision in which people cannot view things properly in dim light or at night and it mainly occurs due to the lack of vitamin a in our body and it is a sort of deficiency disease and hence we should always take food that are rich in vitamins such as broccoli green vegetables carrot milk eggs curd papaya mango etc and okay fine then is it that any visually impaired person cannot read and write no even visually impaired people can read and write and how let us look into it a little later so visual impair impairment is also known as vision loss so a person with vision loss cannot see at all and this loss of vision is up to a degree that cannot be corrected using usual means like using a glass or lenses so the people who have no eyesight at all develop the other senses of listening and touching sharply which allows them to do their day to day activities however there are certain resources that have been developed to help such people so now let us have a look into the eyes of animals which are having different shapes that is uh, few animals have different shapes of eyes crab crab has a very small eye but they can look all around with them even behind them coming to butterflies they have a very big eye and that consists of thousands of small eyes which allow them to see in the front and at the back and night owls otherwise called night birds night owls are able to see things more clearly in night rather than day time this is so because the cornea of their eye is large with a large pupil which allows light to enter into the eye at night time however their eyes have a large number of rod cells rather than comb that allow them to see the things at night easily coming to kites and eagles that is day birds these birds can see very well during day time but have decreased vision at night and this is because they have a large number of cone cells and few rod cells so this is a picture where you can see the butterfly which is having larger eye that seems to be made up of thousands of little eyes and this is the picture of owl where owl can see very well in night it has a large cornea and large pupil so this is called as a braille system which was developed so that the visually challenged people can also read and write and it was developed by a visually challenged person called lewis braille and this system was published by him in 1821 however the present braille system was adopted in 1932 for many common languages including hindi sanskrit tamil telugu 
mathematics and scientific notations a braille code is present and in braille code there are 63 dots or 63 characters and they are arranged in a cell of two vertical rows having three dots each and the pattern are embossed on the braille sheet that allows a person to read by touching the pattern and each character in the braille system can represent a letter a combination of letter or a word a grammatical sign and this is how the braille system appears for the english alphabets so and you will also be motivated if you read the real time achievements of certain visually challenged people for example like kellen heller and rabindra jain and kellen heller was an american author and lecturer is perhaps the most well known and inspiring visually challenged person she lost her sight when she was only 18 months old but because of her resolve and courage she could complete her graduation from a university and she wrote a number of books including the story of my life in 1903 and the next person ravindra jain Born completely visually impaired, obtained his Sangeet Prabhakar degree from Allahabad and he had shown his excellence as a lyricist, singer and music composer. And Lal Advani himself is another personality who is a visually impaired person and established an association for special education and rehabilitation of disabled in India. Besides this, he represented India on Braille problems in UNESCO. Thank you students.